Good morning, welcome to the channel. Go outside here. It's all by beautiful morning. I gotta go to town. Get some canned dog food. Cause you know, you gotta mix all that in. Oh, I left my charcoal out here. All right. Junk. Gotta get some water. Junk. Why do we keep so much junk in our vehicle? I don't know. We got a rooster and a biscuit. Will you watch that rooster? I put that in the chair. There's the morning shot of rooster. All right, let me get uh, my keys, get this one in the house, and head to town. The water. smoother although this road was not near as bad as my road and they're still working on it we'll see if we get stopped or not down here but hey when we get to town let's go crackhead hunting because they'll surely be out today because they all get their crazy checks yeah so they'll, they'll be from 30 to 40 years old and they'll be on little kids bicycles and I'll guarantee you we see at least one or two of them so we'll see Crackhead hunting, who'd have thunk it? I know. They're yeah, gonna be some high kids this tonight. It's just the way it is. Most most towns and cities now. Look at that. We got shoes hanging on the line. No, that's a leave. Okay, it hasn't got that bad yet. Alright. Let me get a little further in town and we'll start the hunt. We're moseying into town. We got a brand new dollar store being built. Yeah, that's where I'm headed now. I gotta get dog food. It's way too expensive in the grocery store. But I don't want to drive all the way to Walmart. Uh, do we got our first crackhead up here? No. There's crackhead. Knocking on the crackhead hotel door. Our new Dollar General. Bigger. Alright, this store up here on the right, that's a known crackhead haven. Bet you we'll see some bikes out there. Man, they must all be still sleeping. That's right, it's early. They're not going to be out. What I mean by a crazy chick is these young people have figured out they can just go to one of these go to a shrink claim they got mental problems and get a check maybe some do but the majority of them are drug addicts and that's been no secret all right we got somebody backing in over here looks like they're loading a crane i think they're replacing the i'm gonna turn left and get out of this mess Let's go get my water first. So anyway, they get up to six or seven hundred dollars a month. Do with what they want. 
Whereas guys like me who worked 38 years and got injured, got to go through five or six years of hell just to get anything. And there's people that really truly need it that can't get it because the majority of the system is taken up by young people that there's nothing wrong with them. They just don't want to work and they're addicted to drugs. And if you disagree with me, that's fine. But when I worked in the pawn shop, I seen it all the time. They'd come in on the third. Oh, I got my crazy check. Yep. They'd even tell you the whole story of how they got it. And then I've watched so many videos that confirm this. You know, it's it's known. Known fact. Now they're out milling around. No, well, that's a city council member. I know him. <laughs> he hates the crackheads. Alright guys, I'm on. Pick up here in a minute. Is it gonna work today? Well, this sucks. I thought I had some $1 bills in my pocket, but I used them for a tip the other day at the Chinese restaurant, so. Now, why did I stick all three of them in there? Now I can't get five full gallons. I can get three. It's a quarter a gallon. Cheapest way to get water. Sometimes this thing gives you a lot more than uh, this thing just might come close to filling it up. That's cool. Yeah, they usually pours for a while after it's full. 75 cents. Yeah, that's more than three gallons. Well, I guess. Better than nothing. You know what I can do? I can buy a gallon at the grocery store and pour it in there. The seat was jiggling like crazy. And we've got another one over there for ice. I never hardly ever buy ice. I make my own. Ah, right, here we come up on Dollar General. Wow, ain't nobody hardly there. That's unusual. Yeah, there's some. This is the old one, but I think they're still keeping it open. I ain't sure. All right, I'll be back. All right, that was a poorly stocked Dollar General. It always is. I was on the only, blah, blah, only able to get two different flavors. They're not gonna like eating the same flavor, you know, every other day like that. They got the gravy. The beef with gravy and then they got the beef flavor now i'm gonna go to the post office looks like we got some goings on over there they're always fixing the water lines the water lines are horrible in this town and almost every week they'll have a big water break they gotta fix they got a whole department does nothing but fix water leaks really needs to be updated but Probably never will. Fifty percent battery. Come on, there's a dog. Just, uh, I seen that dog running loose the other day. Pretty dog. I got, I got one brother and four sisters. That crap ain't gonna work with me, Toast. It ain't gonna work. I don't need, I don't need any more babies. I don't. All right, guys, you wanted an update on Miss Toast? Well, her mommy just sent me some pictures. And these are real pictures taken from like a real camera. Look at her. She looks just like Melly. Look at that. There's one. 
I haven't read her letter yet. Oh yeah, there she is. Hope you guys can see this. See, that's what I like when you get a dog at home. Let me get out of this glare, guys. I'll try to post these. Oh, there she is, living the life. <laughs> I know these GoPros don't zoom too well. Well, if that ain't Melly, I don't know who is. Look at her. <laughs> Big old floppy ears. All right, guys, I'm going to head out. And now, the last stop, the grocery store. He's parked way out here. I don't drive around looking for no spot. And there we are. I'll be out in a minute. All right, I'm out of the grocery store. So I'm in there pushing the cart around, and the whole store went completely black. Power went out for a few seconds. Don't know what that's about. They're working on so much stuff around this town, there's no telling coming back a different way I got to take you guys with me everywhere I go now or I won't get enough footage for two 20 minute videos so hey something different I'm on 71 highway headed up the big hill quickest way home pretty big hill so if you don't have a big motor in your vehicle sometimes it's a little rough going this way but I have no worries this motor is plenty big Well, it looks like the power went out here, too. I can tell that by that. Did it go out? What did you do? I just reset that yesterday. You don't want to go out? What do you want to do? You sit on that rug. You like those rugs. And, of course, you got to turn everything back on. <sighs> Why do those stupid lights come on? I didn't even have them on. Alright. I gotta figure out something to do. I <laughs> probably ain't gonna. I do gotta charge this battery though. Man, driving through town. Let's go out here with a lighter. The light's better. Whew. How do these kids dress like they do today? I ain't kidding you. I mean, uh, what are they gonna look like when they're 60? Let's 
I have no idea, but it ain't gonna be pretty, I can tell you that. Yeah, oh yeah, the beast back Adrenaline pumping through my veins Can't relax, original I am not the same as these cats I sting them if they never ever mind And they beeswax I don't ever cap, but I'm wearing like three hats Never been a rat, but I know where the cheese at You'll never get a It ain't gonna be pretty, is it? Yeah, you better believe that Guess what? I got some pictures to show you Yeah, new Miss Toast pictures She don't like this camera I'll bring some out and show you. She looks just like you. You got the big black saddle on like you got. Well, hello, Miss Tilly. Can I come out here for a while? All right. We got something digging out down in there, don't we? You're okay. All right. I'm in there stomping grounds. All right, guys. Well, let me ask you this. How many of you had a big mouthful of something you were drinking when I did the walk-by on the camera a minute ago? Oh, I know. You probably got the Windex right now wiping your screens. All right, enough silliness. Uh, we had a $1,000 donation to the rescue yesterday. If you watched the Washita Mountain Living uh, video that I did yesterday, it showed me sending that to their PayPal and they later probably an hour after the video was out she sent me a text thanking me they were very happy to get that that was a very generous subscriber uh one subscriber that sent the whole hundred uh, thousand dollars and they now have that and the reason i'm doing this dog dog tober i've had a few people asking even though i've had a video out explaining why is i am donating 50 percent of all my youtube revenue to furry tails rescue which is a local rescue the ones that took the puppies i had helped me out with that tremendously because it was a stressful job and they are all in new homes now the permanent homes every single puppy that millie had survived and was sent to minnesota one went to florida toast that's the pictures you've seen she was just a small little thing i'm going to put a put a clip up uh, of her after that when she was just a little i'm probably just going to go ahead you've probably already seen it because i'm going to squeeze it in between that clip that'd be a better idea i haven't edited the whole thing yet so anyway that's the only reason i'm asking you guys you know if you wouldn't mind joining my memberships because i'm probably going to continue to give to them through my youtube revenue and those memberships help uh, it'll be just be the revenue off of the videos. Uh, I'll give them, you know, I'm not promising because that's part of my income right now But as my channel grows and I make more off the videos and I ain't gonna do 30 videos a, a month every month But we're gonna see how this works this month and I, I always donate something so I mean that was before I'm doing this I've always managed to donate what I could and If you don't have enough to donate I'm saying that's that's possible another way to help me I got memberships like $2.99, $4.99, nothing over $10. It just comes out. I, I, I have memberships to a lot of other channels, you know, even though I can't really afford it, but it helps them as well. So that's one thing to consider, or just watch the videos. You know, if you can't do anything else, hit the like button. That puts it on the Alpo rhythm. That's right. I don't have the Algo rhythm. I have the Alpo rhythm. Don't we? Tilly and Millie. She don't know. She's just looking around. So anyway, that's why I've been... Because you know me. I never even ask people to like, subscribe, or any of that on any, any of my channels. But if it's for a good cause, then I'm darn sure going to do it. So anything anybody can do helps. Nobody has to do a thing. I simply need you to just watch these videos. That generates, you know... I ain't saying they're going to get a ton. But uh, if just one video took off you know that, that could be a substantial amount of money because it costs them thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars to get these they do a transport about every month 
and she told us it's sixteen thousand dollars each time they go depending on how many dogs they have so they're always looking for ways to earn you know donations and so i just wanted to help them out because i've done it I, I know how hard it is i was the guy i ran it by myself i had some uh, and another person and I was on the computer all the time drumming up ways how to raise money for the rescue and we and we were able to do it I just got too old uh, my physical my back I couldn't handle it I mean picking up puppies and all that you just can't do it anymore so and, and then puppies were pretty rough on me I wasn't expecting to get puppies but Miss Melly showed up what are you gonna do you know I just we did what we had to do we we got her puppies homes and now she's uh spayed i couldn't get her before though she got pregnant she was too uh too too skittish and uh so but we got that taken care of we also got miss tilly taken care of she went first so i took them both to the vet i thought they were both pregnant it was only millie that was pregnant so now she ain't never gonna have any more and you got pictures to put on your on your on your dog house wall yeah i'll print you out a copy look at that dog she was in rough shape when she came here you guys go back and watch the videos if you haven't you'll see but well, we're in a good spot now and they just hang out back here they know when their treats are coming all right guys i appreciate you watching watch for the video on my other channel oh tripped over a toy uh, that'll be up later today and uh, I thank everybody for watching I gotta get silly every now and then you guys know that I know some people are gonna probably get mad they don't like being silly they don't like humor but hey I do what it takes happy trails all right let's turn your radio down put your shows on <sighs> what do you want to watch today Animal Planet, Jack Hanna, whatever. Let's see. Live TV. You like that pause. There's the Pet Collective. We got Paws and Claws, Jack Hanna. Love Nature. All right, let's go watch your... I don't like that show because it goes off sometimes. Let's watch this one. But they show too many kitties. Scavengers. Uh-oh. Oh, good lord, how does anybody do that? Oh they got a hundred raccoons, Waldo. Yeah, that's all them things do is eat. They're trash bandits. Are you a trash bandit? Look at that. What is he doing? He's feeding them raccoons bottles. Alright, I'm going to leave you to your show. Say happy trails. Rally trails. You can watch your raccoon show. That show has a terrible picture wall though.